14th start of the season. Won his only start as a Blue Jay versus Washington three years ago. Who did he beat? Max Scherzer. He is huge for their offense. He's a grinder at the plate. Reaching for it in a one hopper to the shortstop. Diaz got him. Big stretch by Smoke at the other end. And he's one of the best. Take a look at some of these numbers in his 14 starts this season. He's 10 and 2 with an ERA of 2. Three time Cy Young Award winner, five time All Star. Granderson went from the Tigers to the Yankees, and a number of players went in different directions to round out the deal. And there's that change up down and away. One of his weapons and he gets Granderson one down. Well, like we were talking about in the open, he's got the power that he'll use against right handers. Fastball slider. So a couple of sliders and now a high fastball. At 96, one down. Like he's an everyday player. He, he comes to compete every day, even when he's not pitching. Look at the movement on that pitch, two down by Jordan Zimmerman and it was low. We we're coming off of a bad series against Minnesota and Pilar's home run really turned around the season. Not this time though Scherzer strikes out the side in the bottom of the second. Diving stop Solarte. Got him at first. What a play on one of the fastest guys in baseball Trey Turner. Are strong. Travis is there to make a nice play. And a swing and a miss to end the bottom of the fourth. Seven strikeouts now for Scherzer. And a fly ball driven to deep left field. Travis has given it a ride and has hit it out. Mm -hmm. Couple of days for Travis. Homers last night, and now Homers off Scherzer to give the Blue Jays a two to nothing lead. Little by little, you can see Devin's timing at the plate starting to come around. He's got power in that swing, but when the timing's off, it always seems like you're late. You're a little tardy. You can't get the barrel to the ball. You can't catch it out in front. But he's starting to load up. He's starting to get that lower half into his swing, and we're starting to see extra base hits. Six fastballs struck him out. Third strikeout of the afternoon for Marco Estrada, and you're right. He's saying, I'm going to establish that fastball and keep throwing it to Pedro Severino. Stay over that rubber, make pitches. He made one there. Fastball over the outside corner, freezing Harper and ending the top of the sixth. 2 2. And he got him. Maybe the last pitch of the afternoon for Max Scherzer. He struck out 10. Fastball lined to center field. It'll get down for a base hit. Rendon up to second as the inning continues for the Nationals. And John Gibbons is already up on the field and on his way toward the mound. That's going to be all for Estrada today. And Gibby gave him a shot to get out of it. Couldn't finish the seventh. But the best performance of the year for Marco Estrada against a good offensive team. Won't be the first standing ovation he's gotten in this ballpark, but it'll feel good for him nonetheless. Well, big situation here. Danny Barnes comes into the game. Two men on, two men out. And John Gibbons has gone to Danny Barnes in this situation lately. First and second, two down. And the change up hit weakly towards first. Smoke has it. He's on here to try to get the save as Hazel mentioned and obviously something keeping Ryan to out of this game. So this is a job certainly that Clippard has done before in his career and actually at the beginning when Roberto Asuna went on administrative leave this was the guy they they sent out there for the ninth inning initially. And they will go home happy today. Clippard picks up the save. Estrada a well-deserved win. 
And the Blue Jays win two to nothing. Devin Travis accounting for both runs with his fourth home run of the season. Some good defense. Some great pitching. And the Blue Jays have taken two in a row for the Washington Nationals. Uh, you knew hits were going to be hard to come by.